Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are filming my hair care tutorial, I guess, my hair care tips and tricks, I guess. I'm not really sure what to call this video yet. <laughs> um, basically, I'm just going to go over what I've done to help my hair grow um, over the years and just some things that I've realized work better. Uh, for me. So if you want to see how I went from ratchet ass hair to longer, a little bit longer, um, getting their Rapunzel hair, just kidding, it's not Rapunzel, but getting longer hair, then just keep watching this video. So let's jump right into the video. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, I'm a little too hyper. It's like 11 o'clock at night and I'm filming this, and so we're going to hope my energy stays throughout the video. Before I get into the products, I guess I should probably tell you guys a little bit more about my hair and kind of just my journey with my hair um, and why it got so fucked up. So story time. So if you hate talking videos and you hate when people chat too much, you might want to fast forward to this. I'm sorry, but I have to say this for because it's hilarious and it's the reason why my hair has had such a hard motherfucking time growing to where it needs to grow. I've always had long hair growing up. I had like seriously hair down to my butt and the first time it was ruined was by my mother. Sweet old dear old mom. She um, actually claims that, why am I so winded? I'm out of shape. Holy shit. Okay. It was by my mom. <clears throat> my hair was like down in my butt and she just like, it was during the summer and one day she just decided that she was gonna cut my hair. She, I had an aunt that was a beauty school dropout and she basically cut everyone's hair in our family. And so my mom let her cut my hair and was just like, chop it off. Like seriously, my hair was down to my ass and she said, chop it off. Like who the fuck does that? She's crazy person. JK, love you mom. Um, but yeah, she was just like, chop it off. She won't let me comb it. So she claims, I do remember letting her comb my hair. I mean, I got smacked in the head five times with a fucking brush, but I do recall that she let me, or I do recall letting her brush my hair. We were down at my cousin's house and they decided to give us both the same heinous ass haircut that was seriously up to our ears. Like it was like literally up here. And I was like mortified. I was, I can't even remember how old I was. I was like in third or fourth grade. And I just remember like her cutting it seriously. Like it felt like she literally gave me like a bowl cut. That's how horrible it was. Like it was seriously like up to my hair. And then to top it off, they like blow dried, rolled it in and it was just ridiculous. So yeah, so I was so upset. I cried the entire time until we left my aunt's house. And I think that happened on a Sunday. That was usually when we went over to her, um, her house was on Sundays to get her hair cut. So <laughs> the next day at school, I went to school and I literally was like in complete denial of this haircut. I was like, I'm not. Like, no one's seeing this fucking haircut. Like, no one is gonna see this shit. So I literally found every bobby pin that I, or every barrette and bobby pin that I could find any clip in my house. And I like managed to get like every single hair slick to my head and like had this ponytail that was like this big. And it was so sad. I went to school and everybody made fun of me and they were just like, what the fuck? Like, I was probably better off just wearing the hairstyle that my mom had <laughs> styles for me. But I was like, no, this isn't happening. It was a shit show. So that was the first time my hair got fucked up. So ever, after that, I like refused to get my hair cut short. I would always just say like, just trim it. Um, you know, and I finally got it to this length in high school, high school, from third grade to fucking high school, my hair finally got past my boobs to the point where I was like, thank you, Jesus, I finally have a full head of hair, like, I was fucking feeling myself, like, I was just like, thank you. And then comes the loveliest fuck up of all. 
sweet babies. I swear I don't have any good fucking hair stories, like haircut stories. I never have one where I was like, ah, I loved that haircut. Nope, I don't trust bitches with my hair. So this one was in high school. I managed to grow my hair out. I hadn't dyed it, hadn't do, done anything to it, like literally. I was like praying for every strand of hair to make it past my boobs. I was friends with this girl at the time and her mom cut hair, but she mainly cut like guys hair. She was always known for cutting like the boys in the neighborhoods hair um, and stuff. And so I asked her, I was like, did your mom, has your mom ever cut girls hair? And she was like, oh yeah, like totally. She was like, she can cut your hair. And I was like, are you, are you sure? Like, Cause I really don't trust people with my hair. So I was like, I'm hoping you're not lying to me. Yeah, that bitch lied. So I went to her mom and I was like, I had all these fucking ideas. Like I was like, oh, I want my hair razor. Like I want like these cute like side sweat bangs. That's when side sweat bangs were like totally in. And I was like, I just want that fucking like whoosh on across my face. And I wanted my hair dyed like this burgundy color. And so she was like, yeah, yeah, of course. You know, like my mom could do this fucking talking her mama, piping that shit up. Like, yeah, of course, my mom's shit. Like, my mom can do it. I was like, all right. And she said her mom could do it for free. <coughs> that was the first red flag. Bitches who do it for free mean they might be fucking their shit up. They don't want you to pay money because they don't want to be held accountable. It was one nice afternoon, and I went in there, and her mom, like, <laughs> I mean, I kind of should have just been paying attention because she was kind of just like, doo -doo 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 -doo, like, with this fucking razor just, like, going crazy on my hair like Edward Scissorhands. And, like, it didn't really occur to me that she was kind of doing some shit that I didn't really ask her to do. And, um, so I wanted my bangs, like, kind of razored and just layered that way. And I saw her do that, and I thought she was doing it right. Like, I couldn't really tell. So she dyed my hair, cut it, and this is where I knew something was up. She literally, as soon as she got done uh, washing the color out of my hair and cutting it, she like wrapped it up in a bun and was like, okay, you're done. I was like, are you not going to style it for me though? And she was like, no, she's like, I have another appointment coming. Like, blah, blah. Mind you, there was not a single fucking soul in this salon at this time. So I was like, bitch, are you lying to me? Like, I don't see nobody. So I'm going to take your word for it. So I was like, okay, that's cool, I guess. Like, I'll just go home and shower and um, blow dry my hair myself. So I went home. <sighs> I still remember this day like it was yesterday. <gasps> okay, so I went home and I, like, sat down on my floor in front of my mirror, had my blow dryer, and I started blow drying my hair. And <laughs> I got to one side of my hair and a whole chunk was gone. And I was like... Okay, I know I told this bitch to razor my hair, but I didn't mean, like, cut it off. So, like, this part of my hair was just, like, like, there was a whole section just chopped off. And I was just, like, what the fuck? So, I kept going through, and I kept blow-drying more, and I look at my bangs. I had told her to side sweat my bangs this way. She literally cut from here up and then did it this way. Like, almost like she did it backwards, but then this side had short pieces, too. And so, it was just like this. Like, it was like a V bang. And I was like, I was like shaking and then I just started bawling. I was like, oh my god, my hair. Like I was so upset. I was like, this bitch fucked up my hair. Like I was so mad. I was living with my friend's um, family at the time and I like run downstairs to her mom and I'm like, she ruined my hair. It's all hacked off. And it was terrible. And so long story short, I ended up having to cut all of my hair off. Um, I had like the world's shortest A-line. I will try to insert a picture for you. But I had the shortest A-line. I had to wear my bangs in this little twisty for like, God, I feel like it was like two years before they actually grew to something that was like acceptable. <laughs> it was a sad case. But I was on the cheer team at that time and everybody had an A-line. So it was like I kind of fit in, but I didn't want to fit in. I wanted to just fucking have long hair, but she fucked it up, so I couldn't do that anymore. So, yeah, I had to wear this ugly ass A line forever, and my hair grew out so retardedly because, like, the longer the layers in the front were growing first, and then the ones in the back were growing second. So, I always had to touch on my A line. 
like I, it, there's just, it's a weird grow out. So it was like super hard for um, me to accept the fact that my hair was growing in uneven. So I started wearing extensions and I, that was my sophomore year in high school. And I had worn extensions seriously up until, up until recently. Yeah, I always wore extensions. I never wore my natural hair unless it was like in a bun to the store. Um, but I was super self-conscious of my hair and I always wore extensions. So yeah, that's my story. So I finally, it wasn't until, I think after I had my daughter, a little bit after my, I had my daughter, I realized that my hair like wasn't growing because of my extensions because I wore them all the time. I wasn't that girl who was like, oh, just take them off when I get home and just wear my natural hair at home. Like I fucking slept in those motherfuckers. They were like ride or die. So that's when my hair didn't grow with extensions and they were clipping. So they were constantly tugging at my hair. So my tip to you, if you wear extensions, make sure you take them out when they're not really needed. If you're just at home, I mean... I know you probably, if you live in with your man, you try to look fine all the time. You have two choices. You either be a bald bitch or just take that shit out. It's your choice. So now fast forward to after prenatals, after um, pregnancy to, I am on pregnancy number two now, and just some different techniques and stuff that I've used to help my hair grow. And we are finally here. You can't really tell because I'm not all the way in frame, but my hair is finally grown. It is past my boobs, thank you Jesus. Um, it's not as thick as I want it to be, but it's getting there, I just need to be patient. I actually need to trim it, because these split ends is splitting like no other. Now we are gonna get into products I use and what I do and different things here and there uh, to help my hair grow. I guess we'll start with my shampoo and conditioner and what I use in the shower. So the shampoo and conditioner I use is the Pantene Expert brand. They're kind of like smaller bottles. Um, I don't remember how much they are, but I'll list I'll at least I'll list the links uh, to these below. I wash my hair twice with the shampoo. The first time is like literally just to get all the dirt and stuff out and the oils. And then I wash it again just to kind of go over everything. So I always wash twice with my shampoo. And then um, I go in with my conditioner. And I always mix conditioner with this treatment mask by Shea Moisture. It's the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen, Grow, and Restore Treatment Mask with Shea Butter, Peppermint, and Keratin. This, I feel like, has made a huge difference in my hair. Like if if you all of out of all the products that I use, if you don't buy any, make sure you buy this. This is seriously what I used, and my hair grew so fast, and it finally grew past the stage. Like I'm not even kidding, my hair has always just grown to like right here, like right above my boobs. Always, it has always just grown there. I don't know why. It doesn't matter if I trimmed it. It doesn't matter if I took care of it. It always just grew there. So if you don't get anything else, this stuff you seriously need. And you can get this at Target um, or Walgreens. This stuff is amazing. It's so thick and so creamy. And I seriously just put it on in the shower. I let it sit in my hair. So I will mix this with my conditioner or I will just do this by itself after conditioning once with that. Like I'll just really quickly condition with my regular conditioner and then I'll put this in and leave it in my hair while I wash my body and shave and do whatever. I only wash my hair... I'm trying to think how long ago, because honestly I go a long fucking time without washing my hair. I'd say I wash my hair every like seven days. That might be gross for some people, but I'm trying to let this shit grow. Like I ain't trying to use weave no more. And I use some products and I'll show you which ones that I use to help me get through those seven days. When I do wash my hair, I always just use my shampoo and conditioner. I wash twice to get all of the dirt and the oil out. And then I go in with my conditioner and my treatment mask while I'm in the shower. And then once a month, well, once or twice a month, I will use castor oil as a hair mask. Sometimes I'll mix it with the treatment mask or sometimes I just do it by itself. But this has really helped me too. So I always do um, a castor oil mask at least once or twice a month. I just leave it in honestly for like hours. So I'll do it before I get in the shower and then wash it out when I get in the shower. 
I think I just got it off Amazon. Yeah. Yeah. I got it off Amazon. I want to say it was a like 13-something. I'll check for sure, but I'll link it below. It's Castor Oil by Now Solutions. So 100% pure, versatile skincare. It says it's a skin softener, but I'll be using it on my skin. I use it to help. And I also use this on my eyebrows and my eyelashes, and it has done wonders. I mean, obviously, these are my real eyelashes, but they are long. Every day, I take prenatals. And these are just by Spring Valley. You can get them at Walmart. They're says they're prenatal multivitamin multimineral with folic acid um these are really great for helping your hair grow I see more results taking prenatals than they do with biotin because i used to take biotin religiously and i feel like my body got used to it so it didn't really help when i get out of the shower i put in this uh leave-in conditioner. It's the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strength and Grow and Restore Leave-in Conditioner with Shea Butter, Peppermint, and Keratin. So it does the same thing as the treatment mask. It's just something that you can actually leave in your hair. So I just run this through my hair right after the shower like a dime side. No, not even a dime side. I just like stick my hand in there, honestly. Slather on. It doesn't make your hair oily or anything like that, so that's one thing I love about it. Um, that one I just recently started using a couple months ago, but I've seen great results from that as well. It's kind of thickened my hair and helped it grow. So Shea Moisture is honestly just a really great brand for hair. Buy these, honestly, because they are amazing. I love, love, love Shea Moisture. I can't say enough good things about them. They have seriously, like, changed my hair game, and I honestly think those products are what has helped my hair grow the when most. When I get out of the shower, I... Just put that leave-in conditioner and I will put in all of the products I need in my hair and I will let my hair air dry every night. So that night after I wa have washed my hair, I will put that leave-in conditioner and I go in with this coconut oil 10-in-1 multi-purpose spray. It is by Oilology, Natural Oilology Beauty Oils. I honestly got this at TJ Maxx. And I'm savoring this bottle because I have not been able to find another one yet. That's the shitty thing about buying things at TJ Maxx is like you buy it once and sometimes that same thing is not there again. So I'm hoping, I need to go look again and see if I can find it. But this stuff is great. It does not make your hair oily, which is weird because coconut oil totally makes your hair oily. So I put this in uh, while my hair is damp and I just spray a little bit like in the roots and on the ends and I kind of just work it through my hair. I only spray like a couple sprays. Honestly, it's not like, I think like four or five sprays at the most. And then I usually go in with like an oil just so that my hair doesn't get too frizzy because it is curly. Um, and I use this Matrix uh, Biolage Exquisite Oil. I rub this on damp hair after the shower and I just use like a dime amount. I just put a little in my hair, flip my hair over, rub it through and get really in the ends so that my ends don't dry out. And then I will let my hair air dry overnight and then all of my heat styling I do in the morning. So tip for curly hair, you always want to blow dry your hair before you straighten it. You always want to see how straight you can get it with a blow dryer before you go over with the straightener because it's kind of less heat on it. Um, in my opinion, maybe that's not the right term, but I'm, I am not a hairstylist, so I don't know. But I feel like it doesn't damage my hair as much when I blow dry it first and then straighten it. So yeah, I will do all of my heat treatments the morning after I let my hair air dry and then I only do it that day. So if I'm going to curl my hair, then I curl my hair. If I'm going to straighten my hair, then I'm going to straighten my hair. And I do just different hairstyles to get through those seven days. So usually I'll do curls the first day. Like my big heat treat, my big heat hairstyles will be on the first day. And then everything after that is usually like braids or ponytails or buns. I'm a pro at the Bessie bun. Um, I always do it. And then to get myself through those seven days, I just use a dry shampoo. One of them that I love is Not Your Mother's uh, Clean Freak Refreshing Dry Shampoo. It does not leave a super white residue like some do. Um, so I seriously can spray like a shit ton of my hair and it won't turn my hair white. So that's one thing I love about it. So I like the Not Your Mother's, and then I also like the Batiste Dry, dry Shampoo because it has a tint to it, so it makes your hair look even thicker and stuff in the scalp area because it kind of dyes your roots. 
So I really like this one as well. This one's, I think, a little bit more expensive, though, than the Not Your Mother's. So just depends on what your preference is. But I like them both, and I think they both work amazing. And occasionally, I will do a coconut oil mask. Um, I use the Viva Labs Organic Extra Virgin Coconut Oil. This I do every just now and then, just when I'm filling it, because honestly, coconut oil is so oily in your hair. It does help, but it just is a bitch because it's so oily, and so I hate having to work it out of my hair and to wash it out and stuff. So if I do get out of the shower, sometimes I'll put like a tiny little amount in my ends of my hair just to help them curl out a little bit more. Um, but yeah, and scalp massages are great. That stimulates um, hair growth if you're just like, I always do it in the shower. I give myself like a little three minute scalp massage while I'm washing my hair um, or washing out my conditioner in my hair. Um, and that helps a lot too. I think that's everything. I think I went over all of the tips and stuff for my hair care. If you guys have any questions, um, feel free to hit me up on Instagram or Facebook or in the comment section. I will reply to any of your questions or anything that um, you guys might need to know about my hair or the products that I use. Um, I'm hoping I went over everything that I was talking about. I don't know if you can tell, but like that's how long my hair is. So yeah, it has gotten to a length where I can actually leave it out down and not in a bun and ponytail and kind of hide it away from everybody so yeah but thank you guys so much for watching this video let me know what you guys want to see next please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you are not already and just feel free to share this video with your friends and family get the word out uh, <laughs> it helps me so much and Thank you to everyone who's already subscribed to my channel. You guys have no idea how much it means to me to know that there's people out there who are actually watching these. Um, it does take time to edit these. And so when somebody actually like watches your work, it's seriously, it's just heartwarming and it's amazing. So I'm truly grateful for anybody that, you know, is subscribed to my channel. I don't have a lot. I'm not like super popular <laughs> um, yet, but... <laughs> But uh, we are getting there, and I, you know, I want to cater to whatever you guys want to see, so please just let me know, you know, on any one of my social media platforms, let me know what you guys want to see, even if it's your one person that wants to see some random ass video, tell me, and I will film it. I have no problem filming random videos. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I don't think I have anything else to say. I love you. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.